In this video, I'm going to be making a custom art piece to go above my fireplace. I decided to go with an abstract mountain with the sun because one of my favorite things about the new home is the hillside view and watching the sun come up behind it in the morning. Now this is a pretty large wall, so I'm going to make this thing kind of big. I first drew it up in SketchUp to make sure I was going to like all the proportions and also so I can play around with a whole bunch of different colors. Here's the one that I finally settled on. For the back of the piece, I'm gonna be using some half inch plywood I had on my lumber rack. Then for the mountain itself, I'm gonna be using cut up four by fours that also have a cut angle on the front. I used my track saw as a straight edge just to get the triangle first cut out. Then I came back with my circular saw to actually make the cut. So the next thing I did was take my 4x4s and start cutting them up at the miter saw. Since these pieces are not very big, it was going to be too sketchy to set up a stop block with the miter saw. So instead of a stop block, I would just always position the end of the 4x4 to the end of the fence on the miter saw. And that's the cool thing about doing an art piece is that it doesn't have to be as exact as some of the other projects that I've tackled. Total for the entire project, I cut up two 4x4s and I still had pieces left over. So while, yes, it is a lot of pieces, it's really not that many. I timed myself and it took around 25 minutes to cut all of the pieces. What I wanna do now is take all of these blocks that I just cut and cut them into two pieces. I figured the best way to make all of these cuts was over at the bandsaw. And I did this by tilting the tabletop of the bandsaw. And again, this is a lot of cutting, but it only took roughly 30 minutes to make all of these cuts. The hardest part about this project was probably picking out the correct color of greens. I probably spent an hour with the color swatch, trying to nail down the contrast just so. But once I had all of my colors chosen, I made a grid on my sketch, counted up how many of each color I needed, then started painting. And I can't imagine too many people would want to replicate this project exactly, but if you're interested, I do have the sketch with and without the grid, all of the colors I used, as well as how many you need of each color, available for download on my website. And there's a link for you down below. And this is something I probably should have done at the very beginning before I actually cut the triangle, is make the grid of my pattern on the triangle itself. And while I was at it, I went ahead and made all of the other markings where the different colors come into play. And this served as a great reference guide as I started filling in the different colors. I would fill in all of the spaces of a certain color then use a straight edge to make a straight line. Take them over to the bandsaw and cut them all at once and then come back and glue them. And at first I was using a brad nailer on top of the glue, but I found the brad nails to be overkill and just not necessary. After completing one color, I just repeated the process on the next paying attention that I was varying the direction of the blocks as much as possible. And this gives it that really neat looking texture at the very end. And I found it easiest to first attach all of the pieces that required cutting, then come back and fill in the pieces that required a solid block. Now, of course, I decided to go with the mountain, but you could very well go with something else. But if you're not able to draw or maybe come up with a good color scheme, then I recommend checking out a website called graphicsdoc.com or click the link in the description box down below. Graphic Stock is a website that has the largest unlimited download library of graphics, photos, vectors, illustrations, with more than 350,000 images. And all of these images come with a royalty-free agreement so you can't get hit with copyright claims. They were kind enough to give away seven days of Graphic Stock so you can try it out and get access to the massive image library and royalty-free license for free. I went ahead and picked out a few images that I personally think would look really cool with the 4x4 art concept. Big thank you to Graphic Stock for supporting my channel. If you are interested in checking them out, there is a link in the description down below. After making the mountain, I repeated the process and made a sun, or a giant Pac-Man, depending on how you want to look at it. And of course, it would have been easier if I had a sheet of plywood where I could have just kept the sun attached but I didn't want to buy a new piece of plywood if I could make this one work. So I just attached the sun and took it inside and hung it up. And there is one thing about it. Not only is this thing pretty big, but it's also pretty heavy. 
It's not too bad, but I definitely needed some help getting it up on the mantle. I think the varying angles give it such cool texture, as well as that wood grain popping through the paint. Ta da! <laughs> you need to get down before you hurt yourself. The new piece of art might not be able to compare to the real life view, but I still think it's pretty cool. I'll see you next time.